Hello, <clears throat> welcome to the Durational Concert, Social Dissonance. Uh, we would like to inform you that you're being recorded on video, you're being streamed live on Periscope TV, and tomorrow morning the video will be projected on Ant Space over there. Uh, we would also like to ask you kindly to stay for the whole hour, until 8 o'clock exactly. Um, if you don't want to leave now and you want to leave in the middle of the performance, you will be asked to give us some short feedback, uh, some critique, some opinion on why you're leaving. Otherwise, uh, now it's the time to go. Uh, the score is over there of the concert. Feel free to read it and try and interpret it.
Could someone be kind enough to repeat the instructions to the people who just walked in? That's what you just said? Mm-hmm. Um, so this is like to prepare the performance, which will last one hour, and including uh, like everyone's stays for the full hour, and uh, if someone is not ready to do that, they, they can leave now, but if they decide to leave at any point, they Ask to uh, give a feedback about it, and then you should give the paper and instruction for the, the projects to be able to understand the work. Record? Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice. So, for the concept to start, we should all stand up. You can leave your things out of the way. Don't worry about them. Let's split into two groups. On this side should go people who use Facebook, and on that side, people who use some other social medium. Let's do another division. Up there should go people who eat meat, and down here, people who don't eat meat. something else. Mm. Over there should go straight people, over here, or everybody else. another one. Uh, artist, non-artist. You should try, and, I think, something to divide the group yourselves. Suggest things. Political, non-political, where should go who? Political, 
Mm. Okay. Political, non-political beings. Political, non-political. What else? Yes, why not? So point out the spaces. European, non-European. Non Community people, individual people. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And we have middle ground as well. Narcissist, non narcissist. What defines you as narcissists? I think I'm a handsome man. And what makes you non-narcissist? Let's do one more. People who would like to ask questions and people who would like to answer. So keep close to each other, like here and here. Where so the questions ask questions. Yeah, Two groups. Decide. Yes, this side ask questions, this side answer questions. As a group. You're in the middle. What makes you choose the middle? Because I like both a lot. Okay, you can change midway, so you can start one side and then go to the other. It's gonna happen from other people as well. So, ask questions. What would you like to know? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, what is the <laughs> and please help us. Or what, what, I mean, what we're doing now is art or not? Are you 
But I have to answer. So you want to go to that group and pose the question and then run back and answer yourself? Is what we're doing now art? No. Should I go somewhere? Why not? Mm, good question. For me, it's not yet. <laughs> yeah, what is art anyway? Yeah. So far I think it's social science and mm -hmm. as you said, you may make art of it. Mm -hmm. Any other? What would make it art? What would make it art? I don't know for sure. It depends on the interaction. Does he have something to do with it? Yes. To manipulate the situation. Mm -hmm. You can record and replay and play music to it or intersect it with something else and then it may become art. And now, mm -hmm. when he's already here, does it then also make it art? Mm -hmm. It could, but also in my opinion, what it is, is that by the end of it, as an exercise, or at the end of the exercise, we already practice something that might be called or characterized as art. So, are we art? <laughs> it says here that we are on this. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Always supposed to be. I don't know this person, so he may be a journalist, he may be a scientist, I don't know. He may be an artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, would an audience, would having an audience make it art? Maybe you should also stand on this side. Hmm? You, you should also stand on this side. Yeah. <laughs> From my point of view, art doesn't need audience. Mm -hmm. Do we have two people that are audience? Oh, yeah. We are all audience. What are we watching? <laughs> the performance. It's performing. Wow, all about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're not audience. No, we are at the same time only the audience. Ah. So we make art with the audience group. Mm -hmm. We're performing audience group. Mm -hmm. With audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Participatory audience. So what about in relation with the score, the concert we're making right now? Is this art? Are we making art? Score or what? Yeah. The, the, the whole thing. Have you read the score? Of course. You are advised to look at the score and try and interpret it. Listen, listen carefully. The audience is your instrument. Play it in order to practically understand how we are generally instrumentalized. Prepare the audience with concepts, questions, and movements as a way to explore the dissonance that exists between the individual narcissism that capitalism promotes and our social capacity. Between how we conceive ourselves as free individuals with agency and the way that we are socially determined by capitalist relations, technology, and ideology. So have we done that? Yeah, but, but, oh, sorry. I'll finish. Reflect on the I-we relation while defining social dissonance. Help the collective subject to emerge. Is this being screened or is it being laid back? It's being streamed, and tomorrow it's going to be played back. And it's going to be uploaded online to be archived. It's copyright free, it's for everybody. How is it being streamed? Periscope TV. Periscope.tv. Uh, so they have to the audience. So they can, be, they can give us feedback. There are three people watching online right now. Three. Hmm? Can we ask them questions? <laughs> Do we need to define social distance? If you would 
microphone on this floor. <laughs> that might be something. Can the three people help us get a bigger audience? Mm -hmm. Can the three people help us get a bigger audience? Please? On Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> we only have three. <laughs> One of them says, ask away. Not a cell phone. Ah, oh. ask away. Ask away. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Minus Plato. Just like him, probably. <laughs> <laughs> In Puglia. Where? In Puglia. Where is that? I think Italy. 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 Mm. How is it there? <laughs> <laughs> In Magna Grecia, they said. Why are you watching this? Why are you watching this? <laughs> and it's hot, by the way, <laughs> to answer your question. Nice. He misses it. Was he here before? Were you here before? He misses being there in Athens. Does this make him feel more at home and more close to here? How do we know you're not lying to us? And why, I'm, I'm very curious as why we're interested in talking to this figure somewhere else okay. while we are not here. There was a part of the perspective. So are we the audience or are we the what are we what's being projected by an audience? Because if we're supposed to instrumentalize the audience, then we should be instrumentalizing the people on the other side of the periscope. But we are also the audience. So we could also instrumentalize ourselves. But are we? Are we instrumentalizing or are we the are audience? audience? I think we're also part of the audience because I'm watching you guys, so. <laughs> I feel like we're here. Yeah. Who would like to play the rest of the room? The people, the rest of the people. Who would like to be the conductor today? I think it would make sense if someone, like as an individual, plays uh, the other one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, you. you are the designated individual. Yeah. You've just been nominated as the conductor. No, but we have a conductor already. But if we are just sharing. Okay, bye. He has to go. He says bye to everybody. Thank you. 
but it also says that uh, it, it takes for, for granted that we are all narcissists and, uh, and individuals in a way and uh, most of the people here said that they're not narcissists so maybe we should first think about that but I think it doesn't say that it doesn't take for granted that we're all narcissists it says explore the distance between being for example a narcissist or experiencing this individual narcissism and also feeling as free individuals so it's not taken for granted that we're all like narcissists yeah so maybe only the narcissists entanglement and then the person outside of the group who didn't watch she has to uh, yeah and mm -hmm. Un untangle the group basically mm -hmm. anyway it's also a group mm -hmm. but somebody outside in that one yeah there is mm -hmm. yeah yeah so it's different in that sense okay so uh, uh, yeah. everybody holds hands and who's, who's outside? Then I'll be outside. Right. All, but then uh, there's, well, there's actually one more person that also needs to be outside. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then you look the other way. And then. Yeah. 
thing you can learn learn your teacher? Mm, to know, maybe. <laughs> I could try. I don't like uh, being uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, what is the name of your uh, birth place? Birth place? I don't know. The town, you know. It's not so easy. It's Athens. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, okay. Maybe share with me a uh, very warm childhood memory, like a memory from her childhood. I have a blank right now. <laughs> <laughs> that when, um, so I, when I was young, I uh, fell from the bike and I uh, fell out two of my, my uh, tooth, but because of that, we went to the zoo <laughs> and there was this um, giraffe and actually then I could like touch the giraffe so that was really nice. That's <laughs> yeah. um, what is your favorite book? Oh. Um, what is my favorite book? I don't know if it's my favorite but it made a very big impact on me and it's called A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what do I want to know about you? Um, 
may have the opposite people who speak of David as a thousand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what are you looking for here? Here? Expression. Yours? No, symptoms of mine and related to the other people in the room. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, did make you lose hope the last time you lost hope? Well, that's a long time ago, actually, <laughs> because I'm a very positive person. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was actually losing hope. Uh, it was, yeah, yeah, just, I mean, yeah, this is a very question. essential kind of question. question yeah. Why no. did it make you lose hope when you last, last time lost hope? Um, it was actually because there was one situation being worse than the other situation. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, it can't be worse, but it was worse. So, you know, that... It got worse and worse. Exactly, but... Um, but I what mean, did it was exactly the feeling that made you lose hope? This is yeah. not going to be good again, ever. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the point, exactly. yeah. Okay. But I'm over it now. So. <coughs> um, are you from Greece? Yeah. Yeah. So what is the best island you would recommend to go to? <laughs> island to go to. I need... You know, yeah, but that's not a personal question. Oh, come on. I mean, what was your favorite holiday you had with your family in Greece? There you go. With my family? Yeah, I didn't Greece. do much holidays with my family All right. when I was a kid because I was raised on an island. Oh, on which island was this? It's not that drastic, so... But, but still, <laughs> I need... Uh, it's, uh, it's Kios, here. Oh. So, on the eastern you. part of... No, the, right the, the, what's the right answer. Because Thank you. So, um, what do I want to learn? Um, when was the last time that you said the lie, but it was an important lie? I'm very bad in acting, and I'm a very bad liar, so I this can't... This is a lie! <laughs> 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 So there is no lie. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you experience today already something which made this day extraordinary? And if can, would you tell us about it? Today, about today, I met my daughter today. I just arrived from a long trip from Chile, and uh, that's an important issue. I'm being here, you know, in Documenta. I like it a lot. Thank you. Why do you like living in Brooklyn or, or Manhattan? Where do you live? Oh, in Brooklyn. In um, Brooklyn. I like it because everyone I know is close by and I can walk or bike everywhere and it's easy to live there. Yeah. Um, what, what is... Um, the most important thing that you do every day, that you do repeatedly every day? Tell, my thing, tell myself everything's going to be alright. <laughs> um, um, do you feel satisfied? Um, in the society that you live, and if not, why? If not, why? Mm -hmm. I, I feel satisfied. Where do you live? <laughs> in Budapest. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, what is um, your favorite thing to do? Generally? Yeah. Mm. Holidays. as free individuals with agency and the way that we are socially determined by capitalist relations, technology, and ideology. 
how are we socially determined? Like capitalist relations, technology. For example, me, if we didn't live in capitalism, I wouldn't say that my favorite thing to do is holiday. So we are referring to the way. And yeah, uh, if we take all the answers and see how it is connected to uh, to the ideology that capitalism promotes, I guess we would have a more broad answer. Yeah, the ideology behind capitalism is free. You don't choose your alternatives. That's the base of capitalism. Freedom, free. For whom? Mm -hmm. Everyone, you have it. You can choose where to go to school, you can choose your vacation, you can choose to be here. Okay, we have some uh, hundreds of refugees around here that they're not so free to come here or go on vacation. Yeah, that's, that's not the fault, the fault of capitalism. What's outside of capitalism? Socialism. Communism. Are they living in a socialist world? Who? The refugees. Mm. Not necessarily. So are they living under capitalism? No. No. What system are they living Syria, in? Syria, for example. Syria. They don't live in, in, in capitalism. That's a dictatorship. Would you define yourself as a capitalist? Yeah. So, <coughs> I don't know if this question makes sense, but if, uh, for example, I don't have enough money to live, then how does uh, capitalism make me free? That's a problem. That's a problem. I mean, mm -hmm. But it's a system that, that has prevailed among other systems. It's not the best system. But it's a system where we live and that has prevailed among all other systems. So you mean by that that it should stay? I'm not saying that. Okay. There's a lot of improvements you can do. But it's a system that has prevailed. And people is afraid. Yeah. Yeah. People is afraid to recognize, and it's not in fashion to say that you're a capitalist. But we all like to take advantage of capitalism, and, and, and you, you can, with capitalism, you can decide. You, know, you want to be an artist, a performer, a banker, a baker, whatever. What do you think makes it unfashionable to identify as a capitalist? Because today the trend is to become more socialist. around pain or discomfort or trouble 
but others don't, and that the countries and the system that seems to allow our own freedom of happiness, or relative happiness, is producing such uh, injustice. So maybe, yeah, that's at least from where I could be capitalism, knowing that I, I, I use it or I am a product of it. Right? But if I you know, mount an argument against it, it's because even within my freedom, I feel restrained. Right? Restrained by the, the, the pain I feel that others don't get to have what I have, and I see it as, as structural also to my freedom. So then how are we defining freedom? <laughs> okay, wait. The two people that are here, and Hilary, where are you from? Holland. And where are you from? Chile. Where? Chile. Okay. Chile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and how is the situation there? I really want to... No. We're talking about global, not about the specifics. <laughs> because uh, capitalism was raised as a way to, to, to describe how the humans were uh, socially related to That's the way it started, you know, when, when Adam Smith created it. He didn't really just try to explain which was the best way or which was the way people was, were related to each other. He started from trade and things like that. And then became more a system. But it was a, a way of relations between between these exchanging things between each other. And then it took all types of different forms, you know, and intervention and you never see capitalism pure capitalism anywhere. So it's always intervening and it's wrongly intervening. When the state takes decisions for us, that's against capitalism. And you have many of these countries, like France and many of these European countries, where the state is taking many decisions that we should be allowed to take. Does consumerism automatically imply capitalism? Can you consume and not be a capitalist? way of life that is about consuming, trading, but is there, but you still think it's money socialism. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. Like how to consume. But yeah. They tell you what to, they tell you what to consume, how to live, what to get. The state? Socialist. But you said the same for the state here. Right. Sometimes, but you said the same for government. You said that the state also intervenes. Yeah, but that's the same. In the human capitalist society, you should reduce the state to the minimum. The minimum to control injustices. injustices. But okay. not have the state decide for you where. Okay, so if the state doesn't say anything about, for example, shaving my legs, I will shave my legs because this is my own free uh, agency that tells me to shave my legs okay. from the. The depth of my heart, I really want to say my heart. But it's, 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 it's sorry. The state, the only thing, the the state, the only thing that will tell you is that you shouldn't bother the other one to pay the problems to the other. Yeah, I know. Okay, I understand. What I'm saying is that, of course, we take all these kind of uh, little or bigger decisions in life, but are because no, because it's not a law. Uh, is this? It, are all these decisions our own decisions, and what is the our own self? I mean, this, for example. How would a person wake up a day without being a, a part of the society and decide to take seizures and save the hair of her legs? How is that possible, really? How? If there, if the, there was no society, if there was no capitalist society, if there was no ca the capitalist image of this uh, situation or of this woman or of these uh, legs, 
How would a person do that? How are we free? It doesn't have to do with capitalism. Of course it has to do with capitalism. Or with society. Yeah, of course. But the society does Capitalism. We live in a capitalist society. The, the, of course, yeah, it doesn't have to do with the but money. Do you think it maybe doesn't yeah, I can be a capitalist and a capitalist also. Or a, a, a catalyst. A, a, a catholic. Uh, a catholic. Uh, go to a certain church, which is something different. There are different kinds of groups, different kinds of rules, different, different kinds of societies, yeah, communities. Of course, of course, so of the capitalism is not me telling me to shit my legs. Okay. That is my society, my group. This yeah. specific decision is part of the capitalism, but okay, yeah. I think I think the group I feel yeah. part of so yeah. 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 yeah, it's not the economical system. No. I, wonder, you know, I wonder if we could talk about how um, aspirational lifestyles relate to capitalism. If we can have an aspirational lifestyle or aspects of that without capitalism, because I think that's kind of what we're talking about. Yeah. That in doing something like shaving your legs, you're aspiring to a certain archetype, and that archetype is valued in a particular way under capitalism. So were there other social systems where it has a similar value set that would start directing our, our social norms in that way? Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially because there are so much so into the capitalism and the capitalistic system it's sometimes difficult for us to see outside of this. Because from top to, from top to bottom we are you know, we, we carry these things inside, okay. So, and as long as there is no um, dominant paradigm that you know says that you can also do this outside of capitalism, and, you know, you can do this and that. Maybe it's good to hear like other people saying that you know like, there is also this thing outside. So maybe we can have a more good argument, you know, like have a counter paradigm. The no, it's not. It's yeah, this so is very tunnel vision because there's so many different social. Oh, I know, I know. It has evolved and now there are all types of, of intermediate solutions. You know. but, but the pure thing is communism. If we are talking about the, the theory of what you know, was of the difference between the right and the left, the other is communism. But the, the idea behind that, the communism, is that. Someone will decide that and distribute the wealth and will not allow you in the form of capability for creating them than others to get better power than others. In order to make they will distribute everything to them equal to all others. And when no one will own anything, it will be me. I have a question for you. What is the the very essence of the cap the capitalistic idea? So what is what is the foundation? Freedom, freedom is also in uh, anarchism. Yes, for me, like, yeah. maybe it's another term. No, it's in anarchy, happiness for me, which is uh, a little bit provocative, possibly. But capitalism, I, I didn't think about it in theory. Just what I comes up to my mind now is um, capitalism is you offer something and you expect to get something. Um, which may be money or another product. So you offer something which is needed for somebody and I get something from that person and both win. Yes. And that's capitalism mm -hmm. and both are happy and that's an ideal situation. But that's, that's founded on, on, on the individual kind of a distinction of self, of self. In, you know, you're, you're proposing this binary between capitalism and communism, but prior yeah, to capitalism and coexisting still today are other forms of life, many practiced by indigenous groups, and they, they seem to operate on these other forms of understanding the self. And, um, you know, I'm not going to go into it because I'm not an expert and I don't want to idealize or romanticize, but this idea of capitalism also as, yes, as a, as a something that was observed, but then became the one way to do it, is what I find most terrifying, I don't know. <laughs> in, in, that, in that way, it seems to be on par with religion, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you think of currency as sort of like being transposed into the space of what a god or deity would be. But, but I was wondering. No, oh, sorry. No, but I mean, there's no exchange without money. 
And that's proved in history. That's the point. It's a basis for capitalism. It's not freedom. It's wealth. Today, I think we had a very nice out loud thinking. People tend to do uh, by themselves what we have, many of the things that we have done all these days. But uh, of course, right now, yeah, there are some, uh, there are two people that are male and that are, um, I don't know. I think I think we should make some questions for them to see uh, where the satisfaction about capitalism comes from. But I, yeah, right now I don't feel like. Uh, I don't think I have the time to stop the conversation and do that. Maybe I should uh, reveal my role a little bit earlier. I don't know. But it felt uh, much safer today to do that because I was alone. Thank you, Spirit. And what do you think? Um, I thought it started traditionally you know, dividing groups. Uh, I was positively surprised that people got involved with the score more than usual and quickly, but that's mainly because one or two people uh, really got the opportunity to get to interpret the score. And so they uh, swept all the others with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what I would like to ask really is if playing uh, two or three rounds of games and uh, talking on a circle really made these people feel like a collective. Yeah, so yeah. maybe we should end with that today and may pause the question. Overall, I think it was a decent concert, yes. What did you think of the concert? What? What did you think of the concert? Yeah, um, do you want to say that? I just said that. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> um, it seems like there are ways that it worked, and like that. that there are ways that it worked well, and then there are other moments where it stalled, and I think we're stuck in one of those now. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's when it gets to be so a conversation, mm -hmm. it always gets stuck. But of course, today, okay. It's a problem because we have only one person that says that capitalism is very nice and has to go on and stuff like that. And it, is, it would be very aggressive to pose all the questions that we should have posed to people that would say that to one person. So it's a little bit tricky to interfere, intervene yeah. to what's going on right now. But of course, if there were like 10 people saying that and the other half, mm -hmm. of course it would be yeah more uh, interesting, I think. It seems like it's also the responsibility of the group to try to find other questions that can break open what that might mean that aren't so directly about capitalism. Yeah, for for example, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, to talk about aspects of capitalism without addressing it as a totality. Like like fe feminism, for example. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, exploitation. Yeah. yeah, that was also what I was thinking. <laughs> but then... Thank <laughs> you.